we shall wait here till your business is done. You know, many of our patrons wish to take me for themselves. Yet there is something different about you. Mm, how curious. I lived a simpler life once. But one man changed all that. Tis no simple matter for a woman to make it this far on her lonesome. Yet after all this time, here I am. Here I am. No concern of mine. My sincerest apologies. Lady Wilhelmina is attending to a patron at present. Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in? You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life. Oh, no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end he deserves. Or oh, so I'd sworn, but I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, it will not be so easily uncovered. I suppose there is truly naught I can do, save deliver him a gruesome demise for all to behold, that is. Still, if you insist upon searching for evidence of his crimes, three days. I will give you three days to find what you seek. I shall wait patiently, though not with bated breath. You wish to expose Allard's misdeeds. I know not whether I can assist you in this, friend. Ah, but of course. Patrick may know aught that could aid you. Go to his manor come nightfall. If you say you are in my employ, you should be allowed entry with no issue. Land 
for the morrow. Always sets me to think. Allard. Long have I borne witness to the man's arrogance, and long has it infuriated me. I visited his manor once. I recall that he was rather particular about the placement of his paintings. Mayhap he's concealed aught behind one. Tis just the sort of thing one would expect from a man who places so much stock in appearances. Shall I summon him here? You could make use of his absence to steal into his manor and inspect his art collection. Excellent. I will send word to him presently of some urgent matter that requires his intervention. Once you've seen him depart his manor, make your way inside and stay alert. We may not get a second chance at this. Make for Minister Allard's estate and slip in once we've seen him leave. I can guide you there, if you wish. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. serve as evidence. So, you've returned. I confess, I thought you might not. I was ready to settle things myself. Well, did you find what you were looking for? Thank you. I can't believe you found this. All that remains is to end that man's life with my own hands. I've no other tasks for you. This partnership of ours has come to a close. Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in and restrain him for me, would you? Never mind the mask. Consider it a charm of sorts. At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh, you hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice... Wilhelmina! But why? Why would you...? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there is hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served, and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. Huh? Huh? 
This is for my mother. And this is for my father. The time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. Mr. Allard? Has something happened? We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, there's a window here. You have done what you set out to do, I trust. Then I think it would be best for us to make our escape separately. Should we both make it out of this unfettered, let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then, be well. Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough, but I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. The only person I believe in is myself. <laughs> 